Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh, hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail right here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we are taking our first look at the brand new event dropping on the 26th of December, following on from the Christmas event. Of course, a lot of people were expecting a New Year's event. Well, this isn't exactly a New Year's event. It is taking place during the New Year's celebration, of course, IRL, but it doesn't seem to be a New Year's focused event and that the event isn't going to be consisting of New Year's themes because the new event is called Following the Back of Sword Princess, at least according to Google Translate. Now, I don't think it's exactly going to be this. We're waiting for the English uh, tweet to be uh, put out, unfortunately. So far, it hasn't, even though it's been... I think about five or six hours since this Japanese tweet was pushed out. Um, unfortunately, the, the English Twitter hasn't followed up just yet. So we're going to have to wait and see exactly what the new event is called. But this is going to be very exciting because, of course, based on this title in itself, we know what characters are going to show up. And you can see by the corner of your eyes and the corner of your screens, the next set of units are going to be Bell and Lafia. First and foremost, we do have a brand new Bell. Finally, we have a brand new Bell. And second of all, yes, this is our fourth Lafia. So, I guess Lafia is probably also Don Crow's favorite character, just like it is Omori's. <laughs> Clearly, apparently. But yes, Bell and Lafia are both getting brand new units. Like I said, the event is starting on the 26th of December and it'll be going all the way until the 13th of January. Um, so basically, it's going to be a three week long event once again. Of course, let's take a look at the PV and let's see what they have in store for us. Okay, this is a little bit weird. Let's uh, avoid precise seeking. I don't want to start this just yet. So let's go full screen and let's make it fit the screen. There we go. So let's see. Following the... Okay, so it is called December 2023 event. Following the Sword Princess's footsteps. So close enough, actually. The Japanese Google Translate was actually close enough anyways. So let's take a look and see what this promo video has in store for us. I'm curious to see who the adventurer is and who the assist is. And to be quite honest, based on that image that we had, I wonder if Lafia and Belle are both adventurers. Let's take a look and see what we have in store for us. It's a minute long promo video, of course. I'm going to lower the volume a little bit on my end. Um, so that I'm not blowing my ears out. Let's see here. All right. Wait, was that Mord? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Did I just kill Mord? <laughs> no way. My man Mord, no. You can't have done this to him. Yeah, there's something wrong with eyes for sure. God damn. Yeah, something's wrong with eyes for sure. My boy Mord! My boy Mord in the background! What have you done to him, Ice? Yeah, yeah, she's mad mad. I don't know what's cooking with her. Ooh. I assume that's a scene card, by the way. That is definitely a scene card. Okay, Lefia. Wait, she's an adventure! She's got both ice and fire magic, it seems like. Okay. She. Wait, 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 wait. We'll take a look in just a second. One second. Yeah, both are adventurers. Bell's got dual knives. Very nice. Okay. Yo! Okay. We need to look back at both their abilities. Both of them look very strong. Honestly, that looked like Grand Day all over again. I'm not gonna lie. That looked like Don Mimo's Grand Day all over again. It literally was the first anniversary all over again, it felt like. Um, okay, let's take a look uh, step by step. So it is confirmed that both are adventurers, which is a huge uh, change in the way they've been doing banners, uh, in all honesty, because up until now, it's always been adventure and assist. Even when they decided to split up the banners and everything, it was still adventure and assist. So it does seem like that is going to be a double adventure banner rate up, which I'm okay with. It's not the end of the world, of course. I really hope if they're doing double adventures and if they are going to be on one banner, which fingers crossed they are because I cannot stand them splitting up another banner once again. Hopefully the featured rate goes up instead of going down 
in the sense of because of course we have two adventures right one adventure rate up is 0.7 percent right now when they add two featured adventures is it going to be 1.4 percent featured which means 0.7 and 0.7 for both bell and lafia and that remaining 0.1 because obviously an adventure featured rate is 1.5 percent right and assist is 1.5%. Usually they get 0.7 and 0.7 to assist an adventure for the features, right? But in this case, because it's two adventures, is it going to go up to 1.4% or is it going to stay at 0.7% and it's going to split the adventure rate up to 0.35% for each? I personally believe it is going to be the latter. I don't think they're going to increase their featured rates to 1.4%. I think it is going to stay at 0.7% and it is going to be split between the two at 0.35%, which is going to be kind of annoying because it does mean, well, you know, well, it doesn't change anything realistically, to be quite honest, because anyways, the 0.7% rate that you have to get, you know, a, advent a new adventure and assist is going to stay the same. But the thing is, right, in the other banners, it would be 0.7% chance of getting a, a new adventure, a 0.7% chance of getting a new assist. Now, it's going to be a 0.35% chance of getting a new adventure or a new adventure, basically, assuming it is that way. Now, fingers crossed, they do increase it to 1.4% for uh, Lafia and Bell combined. So, it's 0.7.7 instead of it being 0.35.35. We'll have to wait and see there. Let me know what you guys think will happen in that regards. I'm actually quite curious to see what you guys have to say. Now, let's take a look at their skills and abilities because we can get a bit of an indication here. Um, they did go on to mention in another tweet, which we'll take a look at in just a moment, that they will be dropping uh, Bell's skills info tomorrow. I will be recording that after I come back from work. Tomorrow's my final day at work for the next couple of days. So I'll be able to pump out a lot more videos and a lot more content and stuff as well, for sure. But um, I will definitely be covering uh, the uh, uh, Lafia's techniques when it drops on Sunday. Um, and then, of course, tomorrow I'll have to come back home and then record uh, Bell's techniques as well. So obviously Lafia definitely has some range to her. She does have some ice abilities as well. But one thing I noticed here, so she's able to launch that fire attack with a decent amount of range. But she also inflicts what seems to be a fire field as well, which seems very interesting. Again, being able to generate your own area of effect. Well, the last time we had a unit like that, it was Summer Lily. So obviously, this is going to be a very nice addition and it is going to be within your radius as well. So I think that's going to help. Whereas L uh, Lily's was placing it in front of her. This seems to be around you as well, which can be pretty good. And the, and the radius seems pretty big, by the way. The radius seems pretty big. Bell, on the other hand, is very interesting so his first technique it looks to be just a gener generic firebolt maybe a little bit more range and a little bit more wider this is look at the length of it it's going across the entire map it seems like which is insane so it definitely seems like there's going to be something on that front as well we'll have to take a look at that later on when they do drop the footage uh, maybe tomorrow or on sunday whenever they decide to do it but it looks very very interesting in that regards for sure now let's take a look at uh let's take a look at the tweets again i want to just go back to twitter really quickly and go over to the japanese twitter account and show you guys this basically so if we have a look right uh not here not here not here not here um oh yeah by the way there's another discord campaign i'll probably make a video on that tomorrow as well uh because it's not out yet it's going to be dropping on the 26th of december so maybe i'll wait until then to make a mention of it but yeah this is these are the pictures of course of uh bell and lafia and yeah they said that tomorrow they will reveal bell's technique which is very very exciting finally we've got a bell unit which is great our fourth lafia is another matter entirely but it is what it is that's just how the cookie crumbles <laughs> i mean this is this is La, this is lafia battle chronicle i don't know what you're talking about but yes let's go into the game and let's check out the uh notice because they did say that there was an in-game notice so maybe there might be something in there in uh for us that we can use in some way shape or form so let's have a look and see i'm curious to see what they have in uh sword for us but yeah I mean, it's it's pretty cool that we finally are getting a new bell of course right it does seem like it's taking a couple of the armors from uh it's taking some armor inspiration from his uh existing armor or at least what was his existing armor in season at the end of season one and season two and stuff right um but it definitely seems more unique and stuff for sure so first things first uh battle arena begins on the uh on the 24th i think season 11 that's going to be coming up of course make sure you guys are ready for that 
We have an update notice. Okay, let's see what the... What, oh, for heaven's sakes, communication error. Stop. My internet's working fine. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. Okay. So, Battle Chronicle event update. Wow, that's a lot here. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we have in, in store for us. So... Content update. So, following the uh, Sword uh, Princess's footsteps, Lafia uh, and Be uh, Belle, two times straight up gotcha. So, they are on the same banner. Thank the Lord for that. So, that is one good addition there. Now, we don't know exactly how it's going to be, but we'll have to wait and see on that front. Tiona and a water training pack are now available in shop. So, confirming that they are going to be water element as well. We kind of expected it. They're going in a circle, basically, which... I'm okay with, but I wish it was a little bit more random in all honesty, but we'll see. Maybe they, they might do that in the future. New Year campaign number one to begin. So it's the first New Year's campaign to start as well. Story quest, Heroes Desire, Argonaut, Arc, Edition Notice. So this is, of course, for the um, new, um, what's it called? Uh, it's going to be the place where we get the free Harahime as well. Uh, United Final Battle to begin. So next raid is going to be starting as well. Battle Pass for January, and then the main story, Clear Support Limited Mission. So the Thousand Selas is going to be coming back, it seems like. Wow! Okay! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's take a look at this. So, improvement of titles for rank, CP rank 60. A lot of people are disappointed with this, so that's great. Hopefully it's better. And then, Eyes is going to be added to the reroll gacha. Eyes is going to get added to the reroll gacha, which is insane. So it's taken them some time, but it's finally coming out. And I think this is going to be great for players starting again. Getting eyes in the reroll gacha is great. Why isn't Lafia added though? Why isn't assist Lafia added though? Because easily I would probably say eyes and Lafia should restart, uh, be rerolled. Uh, reroll uh, choices, 100%. Now, I would probably say because Lafia isn't in still, I would say Eyes and um, Seer maybe. Probably I would go for something like that or Eyes and Hestia. But 100%, Eyes has to be chosen for sure. So yeah, let's take a look right here. So yeah, that only two scene cards. Wait, only two scene cards. I'm just uh, noticing here. Ooh. Okay, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. So... The banners seem to be exactly the same here. Uh, no difference there. The regular gacha ticket, yeah, the ga AD draws, uh, pity is still there. Bell and Lafia are going to be added. Uh, yeah, that's th this is about the same, but only two new scene cards. I wonder if the, the other two scene cards will be in the second banner, because I assume there will be another banner. Um, we'll have to see what the next banner is going to be, because it doesn't seem like we have any, you know, sort of indication as to who it's going to be based on the... Um, initial image but yeah there will be a second banner surely right but yeah water units coming out again general pool water units it seems like did they mention maybe something no 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 i was gonna see if they mentioned something about bell and lafia being available after the banners leave but they don't mention it here we'll have to wait until uh tuesday for that but i expect it to be uh I expect them to be general pool for sure. But yeah very very cool I'm very excited let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below Next banner is coming up very, very soon. Next event is coming up very soon. Some cool changes and adjustments as well along with it. I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.